ஹாய் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு தி ஷார்ட் அண்ட் ஹப் சேனல் திஸ் இஸ் ஹரிநாகநாந்த் ஏது மொடி ஷார்ட் அண்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டர் ஐ எம் ஆஃபரிங் ஜென்ரல் அண்ட் லீகல் டிக்டேஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் ஆல் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் கிரேட்ஸ் திஸ் டிக்டேஷன் பேசேஜ் லிங்க் அண்ட் அதர் க்ரூஷியல் லிங்க்ஸ் ஆர் கிவன் இன் தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் ஐ எம் கண்டக்டிங் போத் ஆன்லைன் அண்ட் ஆஃப்லைன் கிளாஸஸ் ஃபார் தி ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ரிலேட்டிங் டு ஷார்ட் அண்ட் சப்ஜெக்ட் தோஸ் ஹூ வாண்ட் டு ஜாயின் தி டெலிகிராம் குரூப் கேன் ஜாயின் த்ரூ தி லிங்க் கிவன் இன் தி டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் பாக்ஸ் கெட் ரெடி ஃபார் தி டிக்டேஷன் ஆன் தி டாபிக் ஆஃப் டிமானிடைசேஷன் அண்ட் எஜுகேஷன் பாலிசி get ready 1 2 3 start demonetization is the act of bearing a currency unit of its status as illegal tender it occurs whenever there is a change in national currency the currency form of forms of money is pulled from circulation and retired often to be replaced with new notes or coins sometimes a country completely replaces the old currency with a new currency in first demonetization in british india was carried out on january 12 1946 according to a report in the history of the reserve bank of india the reserve bank of india authorities were not keen about the move it appears that in spite of then opposition the then governor of rbi the government went ahead with the move and issued an ordinance on january 12 1946 in 1978 rupees 1000 5000 10000 notes are demonetized the president of india introduced the high denomination bank notes ordinance 1978 on november 8 2016 the central government in exercise of the powers conferred by section 26 class 2 of the rbi act notified that the specified bank notes shall finish to be legal tender with effect from november 9 2016 the specified bank notes were bank notes of demonetization of the existing series of the value of rupees 500 and 1000 on december 30 2016 the specified bank notes ordinance 2016 was promulgated by the president of india on 19th may 2023 india's central bank on friday announced its decision to take 2000 notes out of circulation only 7 years after they were introduced the reserve bank of india stated that the decision has been taken under its clean note policy and clarified that the note will remain legal tender india has a long and varied history of implementing educational policies at the local state and national levels over the centuries the country has seen many changes and development on its educational system with the aim of providing access to quality educational system with the aim of providing access to quality education for all its citizens education is one of the fundamental rights of any individual it helps individuals to become responsible and productive members of the society it fosters critical thinking develop skills and knowledge and makes a person more responsible towards the society in ancient india education was considered a privilege of the best classes with only a small portion of the population having access to formal education in recent years the indian government has implemented several new educational policies aimed at further improving the education system some of the key policies and initiatives include the following the right to education act passed in 2009 mandates that every child between the age of 6 to 14 has the right to free and compulsory education in a neighboring good school the act also makes it mandatory for all private schools to reserve 25% of their seats for students from economically weaker sections a special program was launched in the year 2001 to provide universal access to education for all children particularly girls and children from disadvantaged backgrounds another scheme 
was launched in the year 2009 to improve the quality of secondary education in India. The national curriculum framework revised in 2005 emphasizes the need for a learner centric and inclusive education system. The national education policy 2020 is a comprehensive policy framework that aims to reform and revitalize the education system in India. The new NEP is expected to focus on several key areas including increasing access to education, improving the quality of education and promoting equity and inclusiveness. This will involve expanding the reach of the education system particularly in rural and remote areas and ensuring that all children have access to quality education from an early age. However, its success will depend on effective implementation and adequate resources and it will require continued effort and commitment from the government, educators and the wider community. Stop. If you want to get more updates, please subscribe our channel. If you really feel that this dictation can help you in the competitive exams, click the like button, share the video and make a comment. We are also making this passage available to you in 80, 100, 120 and 150 words per minute. I am conducting both online and offline classes for this short and subject to the students. Anyone interested in joining the telegram group can do so by clicking the link provided in the description box. Stop.